Well, Dr. Anthony Fauci's agency provided 11 grants, totaling $17 million of new funding in the first year, and then $82 million in total funding spread out across five years for this new initiative. Now, one thing that's really notable in terms of the funding is that even though the Creed initiative as a whole was made public on August the 27th, several of these scientists were actually awarded their grant money in May and in June. So several months before the whole thing could actually be scrutinized by the public. And the reason that's so significant will be made clear in a, in a second. So let's dig into the individual grants. So to start with, Mr. Peter Daszak, who is the leader of the EcoHealth Alliance, he was awarded a relatively hefty 7.5 million five-year grant in order to study emerging diseases in Southeast Asia. And there's something very, you can say, interesting about the timing of his particular grant. Because when you look on the application and the actual application of the grant, you, sh you see that it was awarded, at least it would be um, part that says award notice date was on June 17th, 2020. And the reason that is so significant is because back in April of 2020, when the news came to light that Peter Daszak has had all these connections to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, well, it was at that time that President Trump actually took the step. He revoked the earlier grant that Peter Daszak had received from the NIAID. And so think about that for a quick moment. In April, when the connections between Peter Daszak and the Wuhan Institute of Virology became public knowledge, President Trump went in and he cut the earlier funding that Daszak had received from Fauci. However, away from the public spotlight, so before the entire initiative was made public, Dr. Fauci, he went ahead, he set up this initiative, and he granted Daszak an additional $7.5 million that was not made public until many months later. So you can say that's uh, some very interesting timing. Now, that grant was set to be disembursed over the course of five years, and so thus far, here is what the research has shown. Quote, Peter Daszak received a total of $1.5 million in both 2020 and 2021. Unlike either Anderson or Gary, the other two scientists, proceeds from his Creed grant make up the entirety of his listed NIAID grants in both years. By way of comparison, Daszak had received approximately 662000 in NIAID grant money in 2019. Put another way, Daszak's post-pandemic funding increased by approximately 130%. And then let's dive into some of the other scientists. For instance, you have Dr. Anderson. He was one of those uh, four scientists that we listed. And on January 31st of 2020, he privately, we know this through the emails that have come forward, he privately told Dr. Fauci that the virus looked quote unquote engineered. And then the very next day on February the 1st, during that teleconference, he claimed to be 60 to 70% sure that the virus came from a lab. However, he later then recanted his stance and actually worked to spearhead Dr. Fauci's narrative that the virus had a natural origins. And then subsequently, the amount of grant money that he received went up considerably. Here's specifically what the research says in terms of his grant money. Quote, Dr. Anderson received a total of $7.4 million in funding in 2020 as compared to $4.5 million in grant proceeds in 2019. Anderson's total grant funding increased to nearly $9 million in 2021. The new Creed grants, co-awarded with Gary, which is another scientist, accounted for approximately $1.9 million of his 2020 grant proceeds and $2 million of his grant proceeds in 2021. And so then let's actually get into Dr. Gary as well. During the teleconference on February 1st, he said that, quote, he really can't think of a plausible natural scenario where you can get from the bat virus to SARS-CoV-2. And then he further cited the remarkable sequences of mutations that would have to have to occur for SARS-CoV-2 to naturally arise, telling the group, quote, quote, I just can't figure out how this gets accomplished in nature. And then furthermore, Dr. Gary noted that a lab created virus would easily explain the virus data that he was seeing. And he told the group that, quote, in the lab, it would be easy to generate the perfect 12 base insert that you wanted. Furthermore, Dr. Gary, who is one of the co-authors of the Proximal Origins Theory paper, he was once interviewed by The Intercept, which is a pretty good publication, and he stated specifically that he was advised during that teleconference to not discuss a lab leak when writing the Proximal Origin paper. Here's specifically what he told The Intercept, quote, The major feedback we got from the February 1st teleconference was, one, don't try to write a paper at all. It's unnecessary. Or, two, if you do write a paper, don't mention a lab origin, as that will just add fuel to the conspiracists. And indeed, not only does it appear that that's exactly what they did, but also it looks like Dr. Gary suddenly received a boon of funding afterwards. Specifically, according to the documents that we were able to peruse, Dr. Gary received, quote, $7 million in NIAID grants in 2020 as compared to $5.7 million in 2019. Gary also received $6.6 .6 in grants in 2021. The new Creed grant, co-awarded with Dr. Anderson, accounted for approximately $1.9 million of his 2020 grant proceeds and $1.8 million of his grant, grant proceeds in 2021. 
And then lastly, you have Mr. Michael Farzan, who likewise changes views from believing that the virus came from a lab to then later saying that he agrees with the notion that it came from some kind of recombination between a bat and a pangolin. And he likewise was granted a significant amount of funding afterwards. Here is what the research showed that Mr. Farzan got. Quote, Michael Farzan received $9.9 million in grants from Fauci's NIAID in 2020, followed by another $7.9 million in 2021, and an additional $919,000 at the start of 2022. By comparison, Farzan had received $3.8 million in grant money from NIAID in 2019. Although Farzan received substantial increases in grant funding, none of that money appears to have come under grants provided by the Creed Initiative. Now, I think it relatively goes without saying, at least at this point, that there is no real known connection between the scientists pushing the natural origins theory and then getting such a large increase in the amount of funding that they were granted from, the, from Dr. Fauci's agency or from that sub-initiative under his agency. However, these documents, they do raise, you can say, sort of the natural and obvious question, which is, out of the many thousands of scientists who would be very interested in this grant money, I mean, think about it, that's 11 grants totaling what? That's uh, 11 grants totaling $83 million from this Creed initiative. How is it that three of the individuals who were chosen happen to be the same people who are promoting Dr. Fauci's nat natural origins theory, as well as, of course, Dr. Peter Daszak, who had all those connections to the Wuhan Institute of Virology? That is... Um it's interesting. It, you know what? At the very least, it, what it does is, even though the connections aren't exactly clear, nothing, is, nothing has been laid to bear yet, these documents do offer at least another piece of the puzzle that can give us a clearer picture on what is actually happening behind the scenes. But that is thus far all we know. And so, you know, I don't want to speculate. I just want to present you with the facts, and then you can make up your own mind as to what you believe. And now, let's head back.